It tastes good, but the older was better. In this video, I want to focus on new version of Android that will be updated on your device or may not be. So watch until the end to see what new features are useful for you. Hello lovely mobile guys and welcome to Mobile Focus. One of the strange things in Android community is just 20% of them use Android 12, about 15% of them use Android 11 and just 30% of them use Android 10. And a total of 70% of Android users have three last versions of Android. But in iOS community, 70% of them have the last version of iOS. The difference is very huge and it shows the Android updates are not so good and not consistent. And another matter is whom buying iPhone, they knew they will receive the last version of iOS to five years later. Okay, the first change in Android 13 is the new color palette, that you can sync the color of icons with the main color of background image. In Android 12, just you could sync the color icon of Google Apps and Phone Apps icons. But in Android 13, you can sync color icon of all applications that you installed on your phones with the main color of the background image. Also, you can see the number of color palettes created. And we have 16 multicolor and 16 solid colors. The next change that is added to Android 13 is you can experience different language in a specific application when your phone is running with another language. And you can change the language of any apps directly from sitting without running that applications. So cool. For example, your phone language is English, but you can change the language apps directly from the setting to French, Dutch, or any language you want. The next change is not so big and it was in Android 12 before, but in Android 13 it performs much better. And that is turning on flashlights by double tapping on the back of the phone. Permission managing in Android 13 is much better compared with Android 12. In Android 12, just you could control the accessing or not accessing some apps to all of your multimedia. But in Android 13, you can control accessing or not accessing to movies, music, photos separately. The privacy dashboard has some change in Android 13. And with that new change, you can inform what applications got access to your camera or your microphone from 20 hours long in Android 12 to 7 days in Android 13. The next ability that is added to Android 13 is about clipboard. Actually, when you copy a text or a photo, you can edit that before pasting. Another ability that is added to clipboard is time limitation about older clipboards. And after a while, older clipboards start disappearing from your clipboard. Another new feature is the smarter Google Assistant, that you can say more commands by your voice to your Google Assistant. Another cool feature that is added to Android 13 is Bluetooth LE and Spatial Audio. On the head, tracking enabled headphones Spatial Audio shift the source of the sound based on how you turn your head and it makes you feel like you are in the middle of the sports games, movies or concerts. That's awesome. And Bluetooth LA is Bluetooth Low Energy, which improves audio quality and allows you to broadcast media to multiple people at once. And in conclusion, Android 13 hasn't revolutionary changed compared with Android 12. But it has very good performance. But you say, is it forced to migrating in Android 13? Thanks for your time, lovely mama guys. And I hope it was helpful for you. Don't forget to make my heart warmer by subscribing. Love you all.